Today we are going to be replacing a sump pump. You got a bad sump pump downstairs in your waterproofing system, you hear a bunch of grinding noises, it might be time to go ahead and replace that sump pump. Hey, what's up y'all? This top, gonna to need a new sump pump. Might need a check valve, one of these compression, the reducer, compression, or I also grabbed some PVC pipes just in case because I forgot what I was working with here. It's usually either an inch and a half or inch and a quarter. And with this new pump right here, it comes with an adapter for inch and a quarter and then that's an inch and a half inside of there you're also going to need a saw it could be a hacksaw jigsaw sawzall it don't matter as long as you got a saw if you got pvc pipes right here so you see our old pump was down there in the sump and you can see it's just really bad it been down there a minute that's a craftsman i don't know if craftsmen still make them or not but you see we got an inch and a half pipe that was threaded in on that pipe right there so what we did was this pipe here actually came all the way up to that there and what I did was went ahead and just cut that off and then pulled the whole pump out the hole and actually have an inch and a half coupling right here where I'm going to be reconnecting this PVC pipe back up to his brother right there now this pole right here you don't have to replace this so I unscrewed it from there and guess what I'm going to use that same one and screw it into our new pump that we got here so when I tried to screw that in the inch and a half didn't work but the inch and a quarter did. Good thing about this ever built pump right here, it comes with this adapter if you need a smaller or a regular size. I'm gonna go ahead and put this adapter on there. You can throw some thread tape on there for a tighter seal if you want, but you see it just screws down in there. So that's gonna screw there. And then my PVC pipe there is gonna screw inside of here so let's do that also another thing you're going to need is some rubber gloves i have some ugly gloves you can see these is for actually snaking a drain you need to snake out a drain which i'll be showing y'all in another video too these gloves come in handy because with these little rocks on here it'll actually clean that blade as you pushing it in and pulling it out or whatever but you need some rubber gloves so your hands won't get wet. So see, I got gloves on, but I'm gonna go ahead and still stick them in here. That pump been down there in that water a long time and there's no telling how long it been not working. So we're gonna go ahead and swap it out and get that stinking water out of there. So I'll drop the new pump inside. See, I got the connection on there. Um, tighten that bad baby up. So what we're gonna do now is plug this plug in. Let's see what we are working with. Next is actually cut that line right there and actually install a check valve just so no water back flow down. As you can see, this is for two inch. See that little compartment? It allow water to go through it, as you can see, but it won't let it come back down. It'll stop it from coming back down, but it'll let it shoot out. I see the pump working and got that water. You can follow them because I'm going the other way. Chasing after paper, trying to redirect the wave. 